the basis of the research is in predicting earthquakes. And so in predicting an earthquake, you are able to take preliminary cautions for people that live in the area. There was a real calamity in Haiti where um, in space about two hours, 200,000 people died. And there was no system in place to warn anybody about these kinds of cataclysm. I started thinking about this problem since I'm from Haiti. As I was looking at some research from a group from NASA, there was some sort of connection that was being made between earthquake and atmospheric changes. So we look at the ionosphere, specifically electrons in the ionosphere, the total electron content that is present before a possible earthquake. And there is correlation between the spikes in those levels and the movement of tectonic plates. We're trying to see if we had the opportunity to go in Haiti and place some equipment in a particular position, could we use this equipment to monitor this change of electrons in the atmosphere? Hopefully long term, um, it is. it develops to the point where we can specifically predict when and where an earthquake will happen. I've always looked at Western Jordan as a potential candidate for uh, doing mission work. It helps other people and to a degree that I wouldn't be able to help other people with uh, an idea that I'd had on my own. Dr. Cornley has done extensive research in the area and I'm building off of what he has done and what other students have done in the past. A lot of work that he's done just showing his concern for the people and how he wants to use the education that he's had in ENC to benefit this kind of work. So I'm very impressed with him. Earthquakes are something we will always have to deal with living on Earth. They lead to famine, oppression, and just poverty. And so alleviating that in the first place is a way to live out what crisis calls to. It's right along the kind of mission that we have here at ENC to try to extend our hands and help people the best of our ability and use the students in the process and teach them how to be part of that process of so not just graduating and uh, getting an education but learning how to help others with their skills. I'd like to think that I'm making a lasting impact with the research.